Okay. Um, let me read, read, read where I was about this, and then I'll then get to the video. But here, here I was. I felt it was the right decision to sack Tuka, but it was not the right decision to replace him with Quidditch. I've always felt that. I felt that it just seemed as if, okay, Tuka has taken these guys as far as they can. It's not time to replace. But this was the mistake I had, and I think it coincides with what he just said. I was still thinking in Bram mode. So when he was sacked, I was still thinking that Bram was still in charge because I was still in, okay, this is Bram mode. You've not done well. You're going to be sacked, and then there's not going to be a superb manager to, to come through. So, but I forgot that, no, 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 it's not Bram in charge. It's Bully in charge. But again, you can forgive me for still thinking, forgive me and many other Chelsea fans for still thinking that we're like in, in, in Bram mode. So my thing is, um, the hiring of Potter and the reason why Potter was hired is what has me confused. So Fabrizio put out a, a tweet, and then Tuk said um, it was a shock. The meeting only lasted three to five minutes at eight in the morning. We all thought we were on the right track and had more time to build. So he thought that give me time. Here's the thing. If it's between giving Tukel time and giving Quidditch time, who in their right mind is going to go with giving Quidditch time over giving a guy who took Piaget to the first UCL final, won a UCL with Chelsea, over giving him time. And you see, this just goes back to it was what, what, what it was. And why the biggest issue here is Claire Lake and Bowley. That's that's the biggest issue here. This was all about Bowley and crew. They, wa they never wanted to kill. And they were like, what is... When is the best time to sack him? The moment they took over, they're like, Took, you're getting sacked. We can't sack you when you're doing well. We can't sack you when you're winning. We've got to sack you at the right time, which is where Chelsea are at the lowest points. And that loss against Zagreb, perfect boom, because it softened the blow. People were still pissed. We're like, okay, yes, loss against Zagreb, but man, homeboy won us a UCL. He deserves a little bit, bit much more rope. But they got guys like me on board who are like, the football isn't good. The football is trash. Losing to, to Zagreb, bro, I think, thank you for what you did winning the UCL. It's not time for a different manager. But what baffles me is this time that they gave in to Quidditch, this amount of excuses they gave in to Quidditch, and what Quidditch has done, how do you not give that to Tuchel? There is no chance in hell. There is no chance in hell. Even as um, dysfunctional as the squad is, there is no chance in hell Tuchel is in 10th place. There's no chance Tuchel is in 10th place with this squad of players, especially with the money coming in. It's, it's, there's just no chance because Quidditch is, he is so much less of a manager, so less experienced and nowhere near as good tactically as the Tuch is. So I just think that, you know, this just illuminated how Tuch felt because, you know, there, there are some managers where the writing was on the wall. I knew it was happening. You could feel rumblings. Lampard. Lampard knew he was going to be sacked. Lampard, he, he wasn't shocked. I think Lampard could, because you could feel the pressure mounting above, like, you're going to get sacked. Here's the thing. The Lampard sacking wasn't shocking. It was like, ah, oh, a sense of relief, because you could feel this b b building up. The took sacking caught me by surprise. I was happy with it. It's based off, like, no, we need a new manager, but I was surprised. Because it sort of came out of nowhere because it was like, okay, yeah, you know, I lost to Zagreb, but this, that loss to Zagreb, as bad as it was, it doesn't mean that you're not going to come through because there are enough games to um, course correct and to be on, on the right track. So my thing, though, is it is it, it, from Tuchel's point of view, it was like, whoa, this is nowhere. But I think Tuchel now realizes that unless you were perfect, Unless you were supremely amazing, you were always going to be sacked. That this, the decision to sack Tuchel wasn't made after that loss to Zagreb. The, two, the decision to sack Tuchel was made the moment they took over. It was just about when, it's not about us, of if we're going to sack him, it's when are we going to sack him and when is the right time to sack him. Um, 
But it's funny. So fast forward now. End of March, coming over to April now. And yeah, it was... You can't see into the future. None of us are Nostradamus. But knowing what I know now, if I could take a DeLorean and go back in time, I'll then say to my old age that HH, I know as much as you want Toko to be sacked and how things are going bad, it will be very worse if he's sacked for this dude called Quidditch. Because they're going to hire a guy called Quidditch from Brighton. You may think, okay, the football is a lot more exciting and so forth. The football will be exciting for a few games, but then the team will be trash and crap, and you're going to experience the worst manager statistically in Shelter's history. So that's what we're dealing with here. <laughs> that's what we're de de dealing with here. So it's if I knew now what I, I and, and took the information back, then I'd be like, okay. Unless there's some difference, keep it. Because if it's between Tuchel and Quidditch, okay, all right, I'll ride with Tuchel and just hope that this is a very, very bum bumpy road and they're going to just get ahead of, of the bumpy road. So, and guys, I'm sorry, man. I I want to you know, go away from this. I don't want to think this and so forth, but I'm just going to put this out there. Because for me, whenever I have stuff in my head, I'm, I'm going to put it out there. I don't want to keep stuff in. I'm going to put it out there. Whether it's right or wrong, let me just... um. Um, project was this an English thing? Did these guys have it in their mind that you no, know, we must? Who is the next exciting English manager? And we must try and find an English coach because maybe this was sort of a deal that they had with the government. Uh, with the government, remember the government wanted to have a handle of Chelsea, so maybe the deal was okay, he's got to be English. So they were like, okay, we. But we can't sack him now. But one hundred percent, as soon as we sack him, we hire the next most exciting English manager and the English coach. Because it's it makes no logical sense to go from Tuchel to Quidditch. It makes no sense. A guy whose only um, success is the Svenska Kuppen. That's it. This guy's only success is the Svenska Kuppen. And you look at Brighton now. The Zerb is doing much, much, much better. The Zerb has taken Brighton to the next part. So, like, the Zerb could legitimately um, get top four with Brighton. So, he's gone way better and improved upon what Quidditch did. So, it's funny to think about if the Took was still in charge, where would Chelsea be? Chelsea, not they're not winning the title. No, no, no. They're not doing as well as Arsenal or City. Ch Chelsea, not 10th. I think Chelsea are really in the dogfights for top four. So maybe they're fifth, sixth, fourth, fifth, sixth, round about there. You know, um, yeah, like they'd be fighting for top four or just in fourth or just clinging on to fourth. But there is, I just cannot imagine him being in this position right now because, and he just, careful what you wish for. Kevin, what you wish for? At that time, I was so pissed with how crap the football was. I was so pissed with how the team was. That I just wanted a change of a, of a manager, but I can see where I was coming from because I have. That's why I started this video with this. Be very clear. Yes, I wanted him sacked based on how the football was, but I did not want him to be sacked for a more inexperienced coach. If a guy is doing badly and you sack him, you don't sack him for someone who is less experienced. <laughs> so, so like, no, like if you're trying to sack someone and replace somebody, you you replace him with somebody who is who is better. In what shape or form or stratosphere is Quidditch a more experienced or a better manager than the Took? Like, on no level is he. He's not actually what he's done and he's nowhere near the he's, he's nowhere near the tactical level of the of the Took. So what are we talking about here? <sighs> I don't know man. I don't know man. You know. All I all I do is just hope and pray. For um, this Real Madrid game, man. Just hope and pray for the Real Madrid game. That's what I can say. Guys, hit that subscribe button over there, guys. Hit that subscribe button. And head over there for that members-only content. Bada-bing.